left Southern California accepting a scholarship to the Academy of Arts in San Francisco, putting him in the middle of the city's emerging Haight-Ashbury district. It was here that he came into contact with a group of new converts who, in response to their reading of the New Testament, had sold all their possessions and decided to live together in a Christian commune called the Big House. And I was confronted with the fact that I was always putting down Jesus and saying that they probably had it all screwed up or anything, but I never actually read the New Testament, you know. So I did, and I really liked Jesus, but he was so different than I thought he was. It was a complete surprise to me. He was so cool. I mean, I would have thought from what I had heard around from Christian people that he was a sergeant in the Marine Corps. You know, <laughs> it was, you know, or, or at least a Republican. <laughs> you know. Wanting to reach out to others seeking after truth, the members of the big house opened a storefront crash pad called the Living Room, located in the heart of the Haight-Ashbury district. Every day they would make the half-hour drive from Novato to the Living Room to invite the locals in for conversation and soup. The kids around Novato began knowing that, you know, they heard the word out that there was a hippie community. I don't think they realized when we said Christian what we really meant, how, how, how Christian we were. We were 24 hours a day trying to figure the Lord out, or trying to figure ourselves out relative to the Lord. It was on one of their trips through the hate, they ran into Lonnie Frisbee, fresh from his experience in Taquitz Canyon. I met a fellow. Uh, and he's in a situation, he's living, he wants to move out or something, but we can bring him home a few days. And... Some of the times he would be talking about Jesus being a person from another world, you know, who came out of a flying saucer and other times, which is not unusual in those days. Invited to live at the big house and participate in their experiment in Christian community, Lottie was steered toward a more orthodox understanding of Christianity. But his thirst for experimentation did not stop. He found affinity with Pentecostal preachers whose sermons focused on dramatic spiritual encounters and miracles. He said, well, if you've been baptized in the Holy Spirit. I go, well, I don't think so. I don't even know what that is. He says, well, let me tell you about it. I felt the Spirit of God come down upon me in such a powerful way. And Lonnie was kind of encouraging me to start speaking in this unknown prayer language. 